whenever you recognize that you're shuttling, like he gave you an example, whatever it is, your career, your family, whichever your weak point is, you'll at a point you'll come, you'll say, oh, I'm just a witness of this. Why am I giving this so much importance? And suddenly you'll become one with it and say, no, this is important for my career or this is important for my relationship. It should happen this way only. And then again, you find yourself, oh, I'm just a witness of this thought. It's just a thought. That's what he's talking about. So that shuttling, it's happening because there is still an old, strong attachment to I am the body-mind. And for I, the body-mind, this career step or this relationship thing should happen and this should not happen. Are you seeing it? Again, take that step beyond and recognize, is it possible for me to really act or do I only know that action is happening through the body-mind? Again and again, verify in that situation. So it's not possible for me to do anything else but to know what the body-mind is involved in. So let me drop this struggle. Now I am struggling that the body and mind should become like a holy saint sitting on the Himalayas. I don't want this body-mind to be Varenya, the, the ambitious guy he was. I want the body-mind to change. Wrong idea. It is not going to change. Did I say that the body-mind will change? The body-mind is going to be the father, the mother, the, the son, the daughter, is going to be the ambitious one. Whatever it was, it is going to be nothing in your world is going to change. What has to change? The wrong recognition with the body-mind as I has to snap and you have to recognize I'm just the knower of what happens to the body-mind. That's it. It is not in my hands. Yeah. So whether the career happens or not, the relationship happens this way or not, not in my hands. I only know. This is the only recognition that will pull you away. And it is the truth. And then prove it to yourself in that moment. See, do I have it in me to generate a thought? Let's see if the next thought is in my hands. And you test yourself at that moment. And you'll notice that the next thought will surprise you. The next action of that body will surprise you. And if you are very, very honest with yourself, you will know, see, I could only know the action of the body. I could only know the thought after it happened. I am not the doer. I am not the experiencer either. So the career of this body-mind is not in my hands. The social life of this body-mind is not in my hands. The relationship, history, the chemistry is not in my hands. I am just the knower of whatever happens. So then you'll be happy. Okay, I give up. I let go. It is only the stubbornness of this ego that says, no, I want things to be my way. And what is the ego? The witness forgetting itself, becoming one with the body-mind is equal to ego. The moment the ego snaps off, it's no more the ego. Now it is back to its witness position. Very clear? Yeah. So now, again and again, you have to help train the witness. Who you? You the guru. You are the guru and you are only the disciple. Yes. I have to train this witness. This witness tends to forget. Again and again it forgets that it's only the knower of the body-mind. It gets enchanted by that situation. Yeah. I have to again, again remind myself, see, it's not in my hands. It's not in my hands. Why am I behaving foolish? Shake yourself out of it. Wake yourself up. This is the meaning of becoming spiritually independent, Varanya. Yeah, where you are the guru and you are training that little weak aspect in you. To wake up.
Twitter, Twitter, no. Yeah. So...